but the whole purpose of this today is to test the uh, Dune Freak on the bungee. I'm going to start with the Angel Wing Designs Micro Bungee, then I'm going to up it to a slightly more substantial bungee, which I'll show you. Now, the other thing which, if you're interested in, I've just done a adjustable tow hook. At the end of the video, there will be a little build thing of how I did it. It's a bit of a lash, but um, it means I can control the position. So the C of G is just in front. So it's th my, the, my C of G is 31 millimeters back from the leading edge. I'm gonna put the tow hook right to the front to start off with. The reason being is, is that the original Wind Freak um, had some very nasty traits on the bungee. Now we know that my smaller version worked absolutely fine and I don't expect any issues with this. But what I'd like to do, being as this is gonna be a kit, I'd like to be able to say to people, this is the sweet spot and that is the purpose of the test today. So let's crack on. Right, first test, it's 25 mil in front of my C of G, which is 31 mil. Obviously the first thing I'm do, going to do is give it a chuck glide, make sure everything's okay, and then we'll try it on the micro bungee. Right. That's about seven, eight paces, I think. So here we go. Check the controls, everything's good. Oh, golden rule, if you test flying, put it in your left hand, then you're quicker on the sticks. Right, here we go. Lovely. Right, that was all right. I think we can uh, safely say it's quite responsive on the rudder, as you would expect. In cases, glider in the left hand, hand on the stick, waggle, everything's going. Bungee. Look at that. Sweet as a nut. Twenty-five paces. Glider in the left hand, still into wind. Waggle the controls. And there she goes. I've got to say, that flies beautifully just off of the uh, tow hook right at the front. Right, so the tow hook now is now 20 millimetres back from the leading edge. I thought it was easier to describe it like that. It was 10 millimetres, I've gone back 20 millimetres and that's where it is. It's about 5 mil off the C of G. 15 paces. Right, here we go, bungee. Well, that doesn't, I definitely would say. Sorry, it's full toe, hook 20 millimeters back from the leading edge. Ooh. There we go. Whoa, you see those birds there? Right, so we are now 30 mil back from the leading edge, which is basically on the C of G. So this is where things should start to get a little bit exciting. I'm going to start with the half toes first and then we'll build up. But what I've got to remember is this is more likely to stall on the line and then roll over like its predecessor. So I've just got to be careful to get the stick forward ASAP. G, sorry, toe hook is basically on the C of G. Right, quick controls check, here we go. Glide in the left hand, ready on the stick, here we go. Right, C of G. Now, tell you what I'm going to do this time. If about halfway up, I'm going to feed in some up elevator. See what happens. So that's a full toe. 
C of G, sorry, tow hook is over the C of G. Right, that's full up elevator, and now it's stalling. It's just, yeah, look at that. That's full up elevator at the moment, everybody. And that is literally doing nothing. I've still got full up elevator in. I'm still flying with full up elevator. <laughs> Now, I've gone all, all the way back. I'm now 40 mil back from the leading edge and that makes it five mil, possibly four mil behind the C of G. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's a full tow. That's as far back as it will go. I'm going to be a little bit clever on the sticks. Right, here we go. Wow, <laughs> I tell you what, you get some height off of it. Look at how flat that thermal's. Beautiful, at your feet, what you want. Right, next bungee test. Um, in a gin and tonic fueled search of uh, Amazon, I ended up purchasing this, which is, oh, I don't know, was it about, it's about 10 mil wide and about three or four mil in the middle there, just as a guesstimate. Uh, I've got 10 meters of this. I've got 40 meters of fishing line with a little sh ribbon on it. I'm gonna use this dog stake um, let's see if I can break the dune freak. Right, okay, so I've laid out the uh, my gym bungee, <laughs> half res, and I've put the tow hook back so it was now in that sort of position, in a safe, what I think is a safe position. It's about 20 mil back from the leading edge. Let's see if I can break it. About 15 paces, a little bit of pull on it, but not massive. Let's see how we get on. Controls are working. Right, bungee. Okay. Well, that went up no trouble at all, didn't it? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. It's about 25. I could go back a lot more. Glider in the left hand. Controls checked. Bungee. Well, it's faster. It's definitely a faster pull, but I don't think I'm getting any extra height, quite frankly. That's all the way back. Into wind, control check. Glider's in the left hand, bungee. Oh, there you go. Right, I'll tell you what I did there, was I tried hoinking in a load of up elevator. And with the extra speed, it just pulled it off the back. So that was my fault, not the bungee or the glider's fault. That's... Right, here we go. So I've grabbed the micro bungee from Angel Wing Designs. And let's see what this does in the same conditions. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, it's just as bloody good, isn't it? That noise, by the way, it's not electric. Pulling back on the bungee. <laughs> I've poked an hole in one of the, in a bit of the covering, and that's what's making that noise. Well, Angel Wing Designs micro budget it is then. Well, there you go. You know, the, uh, Green bungee didn't really be, and it's actually double the length of the uh, angel wing designs. So the only thing that this proves is this is bloody tough. And uh, I'll carry on using my angel wing designs um, bungee. Stay tuned. So I'm thinking about organising a competition 
using the Angel Wing Designs Micro Bungee and any glider in the Angel Wing Designs catalogue to be used in an online bungee competition. Let me know your views down on the, in the comments and tell me what you think. Okay, buoyed with the success of the uh, June Freak. Oh God, I'm so chuffed. I can't tell you how chuffed I am. Can I just say again, Andy Whitehead, thanks very much. And can I just say the next thing we're about to do, Andy Whitehead had no input in this design and the bods that you are about to see. So I apologize to any engineers out there, but I decided to put a tow hook on, but what I want to do is I want to make it uh, adjustable just for the time being so I can do some experiments for you. So I can say to you, right, this is exactly where you want the tow hook. Now, the weight is, um, sorry, the weight, the center of gravity is, a, is actually 30, mill back from the leading edge now so what we're going to what i've decided to do to say any engineers please look away um i have made myself a flat plate from all oh, what was left of the prandle wing frame and i have made myself a little frame like so uh this is not 3d printed so the idea is that is going to sit on the bottom of the fuselage and the idea is i'm going to put a a little bolt through there and then I've got this tow hook which I've just bent up like so I don't know if you can see that or not bear with that's what I've bent up so that's the actual tow hook and then that little ring and this bottom bit is just resting to give the the tow hook stop it uh, spinning around on the nut sorry the bolt now so i'm just going to put this all together i'm just going to give it a bit of a test and then um we'll go out to the field and we'll try the june freak on a bungee what could possibly go wrong <laughs> 